that you will have to get a borehole and with that borehole mm -hmm. you 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 pump your water into your overhead tank and then it drops into your apartment or your building by a force of gravity mm -hmm. by so doing you don't even need the you know uh the regular government line because okay. you will you will get very clean water okay yeah. so basically well, for however how many plots that you choose to buy which we'll talk about in a minute you can borehole your own water yourself and he's saying it's very clear and it's very very flat fresh can you tell us how many acres uh, are we allowed to purchase right you you can buy as much as you want if you are a group you can organize a group to get about five six ten acres that maybe you can build like a community village for your you know family and friends from diaspora and you get a big plot like five acres ten acres and then you share it amongst yourselves and then you build you know you put up a building of your choice right well, what are the size of the plots the size of the plot is a uh, 70 feet by 100 mm -hmm. Okay. 70 feet by 100. 70 feet by 100. Yeah. Okay. So Actually, if I just wanted to buy one plot, I can. You can buy one plot. Actually, it's supposed to be 100 plots, 100 feet by 100 feet. Mm -hmm. But taking away the, um, like, uh, the layout, you know, you have to build a road. You have to leave a space for road. So everybody's part, small part, that 30. It's supposed to be a hundred and it's not 70 so that part is used for the road mm -hmm. okay yeah so you you have even though you see it like that there is a road layout that when they put the master plan down they don't just get you there and then you know measure your i want two plus and then they measure it for you okay. they put their layout down and they know where the road is and where they're supposed to give you as your plot okay in terms of paperwork and all that can you explain that to us because that's very important and to share with us who owns this land right now before uh returnees decide to buy it okay the, there are custodian owners of this land and the, they are gonna get wow. what a title or yeah what? that's what you all we need yeah. to know right now all right there are custodian owners of the land and then when you purchase they have they will give you your indenture we call it the indenture that is what they are supposed to give you aside from that if you want a title then you have to do it yourself or you you pay extra and then they take you like uh i talking about me if you buy the land you pay extra and then i will take you all the way to the lands commission mm -hmm. where they do the title right. and I will hand you over to whoever is going to do it for you mm -hmm. and then uh, you will see that money paid to that person and then you make a follow-up and they're going to do everything for you once you pay they're going to do everything for you you right. can choose to do it yourself but it's going to take time right so uh i don't think you know you have to pay extra a little bit extra and that person will use his whole time to do that rounds for you mm -hmm. to get your title ready for you okay so the title too is very important once you get the land uh you you make sure you get like a fence wall mm -hmm. like that yeah. high mm -hmm run your plot of land mm -hmm. and then you start your title and then you get your architecture work done mm -hmm. and then you take it for approval right when you get the approval like a, it's called a um building permit mm -hmm. when you do that they give you a building permit then once you get your building permit you are good to go all right are there any restrictions at all the restrictions are you have to get your building permit before you start construction right and then if you don't if you don't do that 
and you start building and the building inspectors come around they only have to what they do is they write stop work mm -hmm. you report to you know the district assembly or something and that will cost you about maybe five times more than what you should have paid right. About and that is the penalty. Um, the restriction as far as land, once you get all that straight, you get to build what you want on your land. You'll be whatever you want. And uh, one thing, after buying the land, paying for it, what you do is the next money to pay is uh, once they get your indenture done and you want to start work, you know, they, they have uh, like a the custodian owners they have their family members who always go around seeing if somebody is not encroaching on their land mm -hmm. they know this land has been allocated to you so they are always there when they see somebody there who is not the rightful person they confront the person and stop the person if that person is doing any construction right so they even stop you before you start anything okay so once you you come and you want to start building there's a fee to pay mm -hmm. for that protection they do right and that fee is a thousand cities okay well actually this looks like a very beautiful place and as we were discussing the air is very fresh and if uh, we're going to pan around and let you see the land and um i imagine i can't say he said there was thousands of acres there's a ton of land here. look at how far this land goes mm -hmm. Look at how far it goes. There's a creek down there. I think we'll be going there. We'll be going down the creek very soon. Okay. So that um, we can see for ourselves. And uh, you see the land on my left here, right here. That is my, it's not me, but I bought it for my daughters. It's, it's an acre. Mm -hmm. and a ha Acre and a half. Right acre and a half that is a uh, six plot okay how how far are we from downtown Accra? Uh, downtown Accra to this place is about 15 15 16 miles okay so we're not far we are not far we are not far even though right now this is a new area this is a new area that's just started uh, construction mm -hmm. you know we just started selling it's a new area so initially our cities everywhere the road leading to this place might be bad but within a few years a couple of years three years you you not recognize the place okay. right now as we as we speaking now most of this place have been bought mm -hmm. people have paid for more yeah uh -huh. and most of this place people right. have paid for so talking about that can people pick any plot they want to pick you say okay i like this place mm -hmm. but then if that place is occupied they tell you okay this place has been sold out right so this is the potential place this place there's nobody here right. this place that's what they explain to you mm -hmm. so that you choose from wherever okay. it is all right so how many Lots of land would you say are left over for people to have an opportunity to purchase? A lot. Okay, still land, lots of land. Plus, a lot of plant. Mm -hmm. Plus, the, this block factory. Mm -hmm. That, you know, they, they, they will build a block factory there, and then they, there will be shops to sell building materials. Okay, so we don't have to necessarily you, you, have a big truck come up here no. and do things. We'll have everything set up for we, them. We have everything set up. Okay. We have, when you see, you see gravels, wherever you see gravels, right. then, and then they come and tip the gravels there to, you know, let you know, look, this place is bought. Mm -hmm. Look the blocks here on your right, you see somebody's blocks. Right. So it's, it's been paid for. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you have to do is uh, uh, at least you have to pay 75% um, mm -hmm. to start off with. Yes, you have to pay 75% to start off with. And then the next you negotiate, if you pay it within two months, 
three months the mm -hmm. most, mm -hmm. then uh, you have to finish paying. But um, if you pay that seventy-five percent, that is going to be around maybe twenty thousand. They, they they give you an indenture straight away. Mm -hmm. You get your indenture and you start whatever you want to start doing straight away. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to walk down where the stream is towards the creek. Okay. Over here, that is the the main electricity line. You know, depends where you are. You can you can you can like uh coming straight getting the line coming straight if those who the lines are going to serve are around mm -hmm. you guys can get together get the poles mm -hmm. so we have to pay for that so yeah so people. so that you get your electricity right when you get your poles and then we we'll get the electricity people they come and inspect even they will come they let, let you know okay this is the type of pole the size you need right so that they you buy it from them electricity right. and then they come and fix them okay and then they put the wires on it for you okay. so it is the poles that you have to get because uh, their project is not yet yet there mm -hmm. but you needed it quickly okay i'm going to buy the poles You can go on top of that place, mm -hmm. but uh, I think right there they don't have to sell it. Mm -hmm. But if you are there, that's how you see this place. It's the right. same, same as seeing that place. When you are there, you see this place like the same. Aquaba returnees, um, this is absolutely beautiful. We're back here with Richard. You've seen a little bit of the land, um, and it's just beautiful. The air is very fresh and clean. We're going to ask Richard to please give us his contact information so that you may give him a call and acquire about anything you need to know in terms of, you know, the price of the plots, how soon you could buy, how soon you could build. All right, Richard, can you give, please give your contact information? Okay, my contact information is, uh, if, you are, if you are outside Ghana, you need to call 002-33-27-550-5151. And give them and the code for Ghana. It's all included. 233. Three. Yeah, 002 Three three two seven five five zero five one five one. If you're calling from the United States, it's a little different. It's zero one one, and then the rest of the number. We no, have if if you are calling from here to the United States, and that is the zero zero one. Yeah, but for us calling here, we're going to do zero one one two three three, and then the telephone number. Okay, that's fine. And when you are in Ghana, you only have to call. Zero two seven five five zero five one five one. Okay. Yeah. Madasi, thank you all.